Not surprisingly, over the past five or six years, our industry has built bigger chips. Between 2013 and 2019, where we are today, the size of the chip used in artificial intelligence increased by 50%, just under 50%, 48%. It grew from 551 square millimeters to 815 square millimeters. More space, a bigger chip, allows you to put down more cores, allows you to put down more memory. We saw this, and at Cerebris, we thought this was a good idea. So we built the biggest chip ever made. Instead of 815 square millimeters, we built a chip 46,000 square millimeters. Instead of having a billion transistors, we have 1.2 trillion transistors. Instead of having a few thousand cores, we have 400,000 cores, 18 gigabytes of memory, nine petabytes of memory bandwidth. This goes on. This is actual size. Well, actually, it's just a little bit smaller than this. Um, this is a comparison of our chip and the largest GPU at market. This is one of my favorite slides, so we're going to pause just for a minute. W what does that mean in terms of these elements that we say drive performance? Well, 78 times more cores, 3,000 times more on-chip memory. 10,000 times more memory bandwidth, 133,000 times more fabric bandwidth. That's what happens when you build really, really big chips.